Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 11 of the After Effects tutorial series. Today we're going to look at uh, deeper um, within the keyframes and look, take a look at graphs on how we can control it better. So let us create a new composition uh, right here and have a few animations just like that. So I'm going to type in a text uh, that's two to two for you, all right, and then resize this. So I'm going to animate this as always, and today we're going to animate in a bit of a different way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a keyframe in my position. I'm going to press P and then add in a keyframe in the position. And in about one second, I want this to come down. So you do know that you can readjust the parts of the animation and then adjust the parts as well. And similar to that, we actually can adjust the speed of this as well. So now, if I were to like play this directly, the animation actually moves from top to bottom in the path that I drew, uh, drew on over here. And then it actually takes place in the uh, similar speed. It, it, it actually takes place in the same speed, uh, to, um, uh, to tell the brief. Now, if I were to select both of the keyframes uh, frames and click uh, right-click on it, go to keyframe assistance and uh, select easy A's, then what happens is that it starts up slow and then ends up slow. So now, if we were to dig deeper into the keyframe, now, since this is the starting point, if I were to add in A's in right here, you can see that the keyframe changes. The left side is open and the right side is not. So that actually does not affect the starting uh, motion of the keyframe. So if I were to add in easy A's out, then only it is supposed to start slow. So now if I were to uh, add an easy is out over here, then it only affects how it will act after the keyframe and not before. So I want to uh, slow it down before it reaches the end. So I'm going to right click on this and select easy is in. So now you can see that I have the in and out. Now if I were to add in an animation again, and let's say take this to the right, maybe. And what it does is it does not actually start up slow because I haven't added in the easy is out yet. So I can add in the easy is out. And as I do that, you can see that it slows down completely and then starts again. So that's how uh, this actually works. And you can re uh, resize these. You can adjust the path and so forth to adjust the path for it. Now, let us take a look at something different. Now. Uh, I have a, uh, various types of keyframes. So now if I were to right click again, you can see that there's toggle hold keyframe. And if I were to uh, add in toggle hold keyframe, let me just do that toggle hold keyframe. What it does is when I started this portion uh, actually acts as nothing. It just skips the frame. All right. So you can see that it actually skips the frame as a whole and it does not add in any in-between frames of animation. So I can select both of these and you can see that there are no dots. That means there are no frames on it. So I can right click on it and select A's in and then you get the motion back. So there are these types of keyframes that uh, you have around this. So now let's say I do not want to work with the keyframes. There's a better way to work around this. Uh, you see this button over here that says Graph Editor, and if I were to click on, click on it, I can see the motion of this in a graph view. So it's just like uh, studying geometry. Okay, so now, anyways, uh, now I'm going to click on this, and you can see nothing. I have to click on Position, and you can actually see the graph of my animation right here. So the red line uh, and the green line are actually related, and when it is related to each other, uh, I cannot really do anything because they are related to each other. So I'm going to separate the dimensions, just click on that, and now you have X position and Y position on different grounds. And once I click on the points, you can actually see a handle over there, uh, which will act actually help me control the motion of it. So just to keep this at a simple level, I'm going to go back to the main menu and I'm going to let's say, delete all of the keyframes, just add in two keyframes to show you how it actually works. So I can add in the keyframes over here. Let's say uh, I want animation till one second. I can just move around the keyframe, all right, till here. 
And now if I go to the graph menu, you can actually see that if I were to select X and Y, I can select both, and you can see that they don't have any motion at all. Uh, they are just simply uh, plainly there because there's no motion at it. So I'm going to keep my keyframe over, uh, my cursor over here and add in a motion. And as I do that, you can see that it affects my Y position. And when, when I do this, it affects my X position and you form a curve over here. Now this uh, line that goes from bottom to top actually represents the motion in a video. So if I were to move this to the right, this comes down. So you can see that it actually affects the graph. And now, this graph represents the value of which you see over here. So this says, uh, the X position starts at around 1000 pixels, 1000 pixels, and then ends at around 14,000. Around 15,000 that is the, sorry, uh, 1400. Okay, you move this to the left, it is at around thousands, that's 979, and it ends at uh, 1,435, that's how the motion works. So now, if I add in an A's in and A's out, you can see that it goes in a linear fashion. There's like, uh, it just goes from bottom to top in a linear fashion. So if I were to add in, uh, if I were to add in A's in and A's out, then it'll actually, um, have a curvis line. I see that I added in two keyframes. I just want to delete that out just to keep the thing simple. So let me go back in, select these, X and Y, so sip select both so that I can see both. I can select both of the keyframes just like that and then select the toggle options right here. So I can select it from here as well. So I can add in A's in and as I do that, you can actually see that the line becomes more curvy. Now note that when I click on this point, you get the handle right there. And if I were to click on this, then it is not separate anymore. So I need to make sure that there's separate dimension on it so that I can actually uh, uh, add in the keyframes over there. So now I'm going to go over here and then uh, I'm going to select uh, easy A's. Just right click, just right click on, uh, wait, let me just do this. Let me just select this. And then I'm going to um, go over here. This is also A's, A's in, okay? So I can do that. And this one is easy A's in, and this one is easy A's out. So you can see how that works. If I do this, it starts up slowly and then ends abruptly. So you can see the result right over here. It starts slowly. You can see the difference in the dots right here. That for one frame. So you can, it starts slowly and ends quite abruptly. So I can also like select the keyframes and then uh, what I can do is I can add in the A's in and, uh, okay, let me just make it linear by clicking on this button right here. I can add in the A's uh, in option so that it starts without any delay and then it ends abruptly. So if I select both and add in everything out so that if I select this, uh, what you can do is you can simply uh, drag, um, see the motion start slowly and end slowly. So now, uh, let's say I want to increase the uh, time for this to start. What I can simply do is I can select this. I can increase the graph. I can just pull it out just like that and you can see the difference. You can see that the starting point actually changes. Now I can select the bottom uh, keyframe as well. Just drag it out. And you can see that now uh, the starting is quite slow and the end, uh, end is abrupt. So if you were to see this, if I were to play this, you can actually see that the starting is quite slow and the end is quite abrupt. So I can also uh, readjust that. I can also drag this up and you can see that it has a bounce effect right there. So I can simply drag this out and it has a bounce effect to it as well. So it goes off track and then bounces back. So I can play it and you can see that it bounces back. So I can add in other keyframes here as well as per my wish. So I'm simply going to drag this out for a normal animation. I do not want any bounce effect or anything else. And I have, I changed the, I successfully changed the motion of how this animates. So I have a slow starting, a very fast uh, transition over here, and then a slow end. So I can actually uh, change around the speed of this uh, with the help of the graph. So you can see that this is very, very helpful. So now this is what I got. 
So uh, if I were to compare these, I can duplicate the layer. Let me just like con uh, press Control C and Control V, and you can see that if I were to go back to the graph, let me go back to transform, let me go back to uh, X and Y, and I can select both of the keyframes, and then what I can do is I can convert the keyframe to linear, uh, linear, and you can see the difference of it. So now, uh, the one uh, starting up. Uh, the first is the one without any A's in or A's out in the graph. So it starts and ends at the same speed. But whereas for the other animation, it is quite opposite, as you can see right here. So let me just drag that to the right so that you can see. I may, uh, Maybe like I can select the uh, whole thing. I can select this and I can select this. Let's move it to this side. Uh, at the end, let me just go over here. Uh, let me just do this uh, if, um, if, it, uh, if that is good. Okay. So let me just say Control C and Control V, and uh, remove the key. Um, remove the uh, position over here. Remove the is in and is out function. Just select both. Remove it. Remove it. Okay. I'm going to select this one. Okay. Seems like it didn't select both. So let me just select that. And you got a uh, simple thing over here, okay, so let me just select the points, let, let me be careful, I'm going to select this, shift select this, and maybe I'll be able to move this, so you can see that I can actually move the entire path of the animation, so now let us compare these two on how they act, alright, so now it starts in a linear fashion and the other has a very very uh, smooth motion, so uh, I can drag this a bit to the top, so this is the ending point, alright, so you can actually see how that start, uh, starts up. One is without the A's in and an A's out, and one is with the A's in and an A, uh, and an A's out. So you can do that with the help of the graph. Okay, so this is how you use the graph. And as you can see that it is very, very useful in a lot of cases. So now if I were to uh, add in renders and then render this out, you can actually see the difference. And since... Um, if I were to turn on the uh, motion blur, you can actually see there's more motion blur on the parts where there is uh, more motion to it. So you can see that how the motion blur works. So there's the motion blur, there's more motion blur on the right uh, text, and then there's the motion blur at the end. So a motion blur can be controlled, so we're going to cover up that in other lessons as well. So let me just render this out uh, and then show you how the things are. So now, let me just go over to comp, and then let me go to file, let me export this, uh, add to render queue, okay, let's wait for a bit, render queue, that's it, let me just select uh, output module, let me just go over to, uh, over here, that's QuickTime, formatting options, S.264, that's okay, turn off audio, press okay, and then go over to, uh, let's go, Lesson 11. So let me right-click, create a new folder, Lesson 11, double-click, press OK, and then let it render. And that's done. So let me just go over to my folder, that's TutorTube, Lesson 11, and then open this with VLC, and let's see how it looks. So this is how the animation looks. As you can see, the left one um, is without the A's in and an A's out, and the right one is a bit more modified A's in and an A's out, done with the help of the graph. So the graph actually helps us for a lot of things, and this is how you can control the keyframes to make the animation seem more smooth. So uh, as always, keep, uh, keep on watching, like, comment, share, and subscribe.